What's going on guys, Vex Vex, and today we got a brand new video on Safe Moon again. We did a video a bit ago on Safe Moon the scam because CoffeeZilla was exposing everything for us and there's even worse stuff going on and it just keeps getting worse. And for some reason, lots of people don't want to admit that it is a scam and abandon it or just forget about it because they've been scammed by this whole Safe Moon type thing. So it's kind of crazy that people just continue to pour money into this and want to support it and want to be just so rich because the only thing they want to be is rich and they think this is the ticket to it when all they're doing is donating their money to the CEO, the developers, all these people who are actually behind the scenes who became multi-millionaires from this. Coffeezilla has a thread here where we can actually see him breaking down kind of all of his points that's in his video. Uh, his video is a great video. You should definitely go watch it. It's going to break it down a lot more than I am here, but basically talking about kind of what's going down in Safe Moon. Uh, you can see right here, new evidence shows that not one, but three Coroni wallets engaging in what seems to be personal purchases. Uh, they are found, funded by BitMart primarily, which we know was making Safe Moon millions from the LP. These wallets have a combined value of $9 million. That's crazy. Where's the $9 million come from? People in Safe Moon. So, uh, Caroni is John Crony is this guy right here. I think that's him. But he's the CEO of Safe Moon. Uh, he's supposed to lead everyone to their riches and the promised land and just make everybody so much money. Uh, but all he has done is really take money from Safe Moon and use it for himself, where he buys NFTs, he buys random coins, and he tries to just have fun with it. And he's someone who used to live in a van, apparently, who now lives in a mansion and is a multimillionaire. Well, the people of Safe Moon are absolutely devastated. If you just look once at Safe Moon, this is, I guess, the original contract. So uh, this is the chart for Safe Moon already. You see the hype cycle, the devs and everyone getting out. Another hype cycle right here, and then it's just massive collapse here. So uh, going to zero. But the good part about this one, this is version one, or I guess the original one, and they moved to a different contract. So if you do anything on version one of Safe Moon, you lose everything. Everything you you lose it all. If you try and transfer Safe Moon, you lose it. I, I think if you try and sell Safe Moon, you lose it. It's gone. You just lose it. So it's it's crazy amounts of money that have been lost through this migration to V2, which is doesn't make sense. Like, why go to V2? Why I'll do all this stuff? These technical reasons make it such a hard coin to just comprehend and just lose a lot of money for people. So the biggest thing, I guess, would be to take out coins because if we look at this, three zeros and this one, uh, six zeros, which... I don't know. That's ridiculous. Either way, it's ridiculous. But you look at this chart and it is even worse. The migration came over and then, oh, a lot of dumping these, a lot of hype into V2, the devs and Caroni CEOs, the board members. This is when they're all selling. They all dump on the market. And wow, you get to lose 90%. You get to lose basically all of your money because you trusted people and thought that random people were going to make you rich when all you did was make them rich. And there's proof of uh, this guy, Caroni, buying basically uh, coin, random altcoins and just trying to make a bunch of money, I guess, getting in pump and dumps. You see right here, the same day of Ben's tip. So a different guy, Ben Phillips, uh, some other guy that, you know, is a UK YouTuber and for some reason is in this space. Uh, he gave out a tip to buy Stonks token. And, uh, you know, this was bought with a Gabe wallet, which is two things that can be the Gabe wallet is either that it is John Caroni's personal wallet or it is the Safe Moon company's wallet, in which case, if it's the company's wallet, he can't just be buying random coins. Why are you buying random coins? There's no way to justify it as a company expense. Makes complete sense. If it's his own wallet, Where'd the money come from? How did he get this money here to buy these things? It had to have been from Safe Moon. So either way, there's not a real good answer to it. Uh, this is the Ben Phillips tweet here talking about taking an absolute gamble on this new coin called Stonks Token. So he tweets this out after he already texted insiders and his friends to say, guys, this is the next big thing. Oh my God, it's great. Load your bags. They load up on it. 
and then they sell after this tweet more than likely. So they get all the hype up. The hype drives the price up. They can sell and get out at the top. And then everybody else who gets in this just gets screwed. And then a way for uh, CoffeeZilla to make sure that this is John Caroni's wallet and he can verify it is this right here. His uh, another Ben Phillips tweet on August 14th pitched Moon Dogs and NFT. And then the response to that was John Crony. This is Twitter Captain Hodel. And uh, he said he named him Captain Hodel. So uh, he tweeted out his NFT. You can go back to his NFT, look who bought it. And then it is the, uh, what's called the devil wall. You can see it right here because it starts with 666. So uh, that comes back to being John Crony's wallet because him here saying he owns his NFT, he named him Captain Hodel. And uh, if you trace it back, you go through OpenSea, see who bought it, when they bought it. it, matches up exactly with this tweet, and that's the wallet that bought it. So the this entire scam, an entire thing that's been running with SafeMoon could come down because of an NFT of a wiener dog wearing a captain hat with blue laser eyes. Imagine that being your story that... You got taken down. Your scam got taken down because you just had to share your NFT of a wiener dog that was wearing a hat and had laser eyes. You had to share it and your entire operation went down and now you got caught for your scam. That would be the funniest thing in the world. And he goes on to talk about, uh, you know, a wallet recipient of 12 million USDT. So $12 million from the Gabe wallet and BitMart which is, so this wallet, the Devil Wallet, received $12 million from Gabe Wallet and BitMart, which is all Safe Moon deals, supposed to be. So why is it the money going to him? Bought $20,000 worth of NFTs. It's once again hard to see how this could be a company wallet. And if it's a personal wallet, how did you get so much money? So very, very big problems here. If you say it's a personal wallet, how did you get $12 million in there? If you say it's a company wallet, why are you buying $20,000 worth of NFTs? That doesn't very seem like a company expense and a thing that the company wants to spend money on. So none of it makes sense. It doesn't add up. It's just adding up to a scam, uh, which is just a massive problem for people in SafeMoon because most, more than likely, if you're in SafeMoon, you probably got in around this area, maybe at the second hype cycle. But either way, you've lost all of your money. You're down like 90%. You're just gone. The money is gone. And there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, the chances of this guy even getting caught are massively low. So even if there's all of this fraud and everything, if he gets caught, maybe he gets caught. Uh, that would be a best case scenario that he gets caught, goes to jail for fraud and everything. But there's still no money to get back. So if you're in this, if you lost money, if you got scammed, you can't get your money back. There's nothing they can do. You you do, you cannot just print the money back. Uh, it's especially if it's in a crypto and it's in NFTs and all this stuff and it's all over the place. It's just going to be such a mess and you're not going to get your money back. And if you do try and get money back, you probably get a fraction of what you put in. It's just a devastating scene for everyone involved because people wanted to believe in this to go safely to the moon. But all it was was a front for the people on the back end to make a ton of money, lying about lock liquidity, taking from the liquidity pool, and taking investors' money. And that's all they did. They did it to get rich quick. Uh, the developers, the the founders, the back end, they got rich real quick. And the investors got real broke real quick. And then this finishes it off with CoffeeZilla, which is a big point. Uh, saying there are many ways to interpret this data, but I can't think of a single way to justify Caroni controlling this amount of money. He went from living in a van slash trailer before SafeMoon to a multi-millionaire dabbling in uh, <clears throat> altcoins and NFTs. So why you you just can't even fathom this? How can someone go from absolutely nothing to having absolutely everything? That just doesn't happen. You can't do that in less than a year, especially when the charts look like this. This is the safe moon chart. This is the V2 chart. When the charts look like this, you just cannot do that in less than a year. It's not going to happen. You can't go from nothing to everything without stealing the money from investors, which is why the charts look like this, because the money was being ripped out of the liquidity pool, put into some of people's own pockets. So 
I just don't even know how much more to say, what more can go on, how much more proof you need. CoffeeZilla even does these like Q&As and talks with the Safe Moon community. And anyone who wants to come up with him uh, every single time after his videos go live. And the biggest problem with that is the Safe Moon community might come and talk and ask questions and do all of this and maybe come and say, we got scammed and we now know it. And it's just a lot to take in. But the main people, John Caroni, these, uh, all these people involved in Safe Moon, behind it, and Safe Moon influencers, none of them come up and talk in this court. None of them come up and do anything in the Q&As. And people write that off as instead of saying, that's weird, why wouldn't they just come on and say, no, this is what happened, is not scam, it's fine. Instead, they go, no, this is uh, defamation, this is something crazy, we're going to let the lawyers handle it. And people go, yeah, that's a good idea. You let the lawyers handle it. This is just some YouTuber. Let the lawyers handle it. Well, they're under investigation by the FBI, Safe Moon is. So I just think there's no winning. If you think Safe Moon's a great investment and it's the best thing in the world, it's not a scam. At this point, I don't think your mind can be changed. And we'll see how it plays out. I don't think it'll be very good, though. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys in my next.